Hey guys, it's Captain here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Nerf and Strike Raider. This is the Raider CS35, which CS stands for Clip System, even though this acts more like a magazine. Uh, they still call them Clips or Clip System, but the guns they just call them Clip, but on their other guns, um, in the title it would be like, CS with like clip system 35 for 35 darts in the clip. They will mag, but I'm just because it's clip. Since Nerf rolls and clip, I'm just gonna call them clip, okay? Um, and then they also did like they did like rev, like REV 6, REV 5, REV 8, which is the revolver barrel. So Firefly was the rev, Firefly rev 8. The Maverick Ref 6, the Spectre Ref 5, etc. So that's why, if on the names I ever say for end strike guns or even other guns, when I have that, that's what it's talking about. It's actually describing the gun in the name. So I just want to make sure you guys are clear on that, especially for future videos. I want to start off saying this is that for this review, I'm not going to be doing a firing test. I'm not actually actually going to be <laughs> actually actually I'm not actually going to be shooting them shooting this because it's really old it was actually my first nerf gun I had a dart gun before but this is my first nerf gun one of my all-time favorites because the slam fire on this was amazing but now after years it wouldn't be as good to test because it doesn't shoot very far anymore it wore down it gets jammed a bunch which I don't remember getting jammed too often when it was new but now as it gets older like about four years older It'll jam a lot, so I don't really use this anymore. It's more for show, but this blaster was amazing. I have to say that right here from the start. So it starts by doing the features of the blaster. This gun is blue, orange, gray, like silver. Um, and most people thought, don't think this is end strike because it's blue. It is in strike. Some of the most of the blasters in end strike were yellow, which you which most people are more familiar with. But this and the long shot, the long strike, they came as their main color in blue. Um, but that doesn't mean they were end strike elite because this came way before end strike elite. This is end strike, and there is now the rampage. Um, it's a CS25. I don't know if they see CS on it, but the Rampage, I'm just going to say CS25, has 25 dart drum. We don't really need to talk about it. That's the elite version of this. Less darts, better performance though, so you can choose which one you want to get. I'm going to be reviewing, for now, the Raider. And this has always been one of my favorite guns. Um, so to go back to the features, like I said about the color scheme, the, it says Raider. CS35 on this side of the barrel um, on both sides has like kind of like a tag for it. It's not really a tag, but it has like a specific spot for its name, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and it doesn't really, has Nerf logo right here in blue, which you probably can't really see. And it's over here on this side, right here in blue, which you probably can't really see. And then there's no other logos. Oh, and then they have the classic and strike symbol, like the shield, on both sides of the stock. And right here on the handle on both sides. And they're both all in white, so it's kind of harder to see. While on the stock, instead of it being like only on one side, it's orange on both sides, which is pretty nice. Um, that's it for the logos, except for it does say end strike has end strike shield again in orange on the blue, which I think I like. I like those colors together right here, which is you don't see too much, but it's pretty nice. If you're the fire, you're not, you don't really see it, so that's why I almost forgot about it. Then on the left side, you should know right the Nerf paints their right side, so it has like that's really about it. What I said, there's not like too much stuff. But on this side, on the left side, it's not like the 
it's like the right side except for it has caution stuff on it through the blue. So, and I'm gonna show you this side because it looks better. It's easier for me to hold. If you, you probably know that if you've seen my Maverick review since they painted the left side and not the right side. So it was a little bit different, especially trying to show like opening the drum. Anyway, back to this gun. It has one tactical rail right here and another one right here. It has two big, long tactical rails, which I like. These tactical rails are long, as you can probably tell where they are because of the orange clip right there. And they're long, and so it's like easier to put in certain spots. And I, they're just like cool looking tactical rails. There's two right there across the top. It looks very nice. Those are the only two tactical rails on it, which are both across the top. Um, and then they have a jam door, a sliding jam door right here, which you have to have it primed all the way back to open the jam door. Um, but I'm not going to show that. Then does not have a barrel extension point. They only had that on like a few guns in end strike. But they have a stock attachment point right here. So this is what the actual base blaster without anything added onto it looks like. Except for the drum, which I don't really want to take off. But that's about the size. It's actually still pretty big. I like the, the good, it's good size for the blaster, honestly. Just, like, I want to use this, like, on my shoulder, which is perfect for, you know, it's pretty nice. And then it obviously comes with a stock, which I'll talk about right now. So this is the stock of the blaster. And this is one of my all-time favorite stocks Nerfman's ever made. Probably my favorite. This stock is awesome. Okay? Because it has this clip right here to like get it on and like take it off. But there's this button, this orange button right on the bottom. And what that does is you click it and your barrel extends. So you can have it as long as you want it. Um, and they have different little notches in it. So you can have it at different spots. So there's notches on the bottom, so it can be right there, here. Here, here, well, that's the same spot, or here. So, yeah. And I used to pretend like this was like a pistol. And I would like hide a dart in there, but unless you just want like one dart storage, just like on the uh, Retaliator, if you saw in Major's review, it has it in the handle. If you want just an extra dart, go ahead, you can put it in here. I used to pretend this was a gun if I ran out of ammo. It's not really. I really like how this can, you can extend it because it can be used for many purposes. It goes on other guns except for sometimes falls off. So you just slide it onto the bottom. And then, see, so this is the where I'd have it, honestly, because this is a bigger blaster than the other ones where I'd extend the stock, like a stripe. But this is good for this if I just want it to be, like, fast. But I want to have it, like, out like this so I can just... Kind of aim. I wouldn't go all the way out. I'd go to about here probably, so I could just aim. And so I would, for my if you're my age and you're about my height, which I'm only about like five foot two, but uh, I'd use the first two notches. Now for the drum. So as you can see right here, it has end strike the end strike logo right here on the top, which I think looks awesome, but. It's, a, it's like a normal clip. Yes, you can only see this like round part. It's the same thing. You put the darts in, you slide it. Oh, dart swords right here for one dart goes in this too. So you can have two extra darts. But back to this, um, you just put them in and as you prime the gun, it loads one in. So it's like a normal one. You just slide them in and it fills up this, this drum, which is pretty cool. I don't have, I don't have all the darts in it right now. But they go through that, and it's like a normal thing, but it holds a lot. And having like, if you wanted this much rounds, having like an 18 dart clip, just like all the way out here is kind of weird looking. Like a banana mag clip, whatever you want to call it. Um, or even a six dart. I think a six dart one looks good. But this gun needs all the rounds because it is fast. And I like having it because I could just, I used to go in my room and see how fast I could do it. I wouldn't actually time it. I would just go boom, 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 boom and just fire at my wall for like 
until like all 35 darts were gone and then have to pick them all up but it's really good so I would actually use this it's different from a rampage um, drum because the rampage one goes straight out and makes the circle this one goes up if you can see that how it goes up instead of just out which I think it looks cool up it's a little harder to store though but I think that looks awesome and I used to think this, think of this like a gangster gun so I always like the big drum up right here this gun comes with uh, streamlined darts which are like pinkish, pinkish orange um, that came with some of the end strike guns they're not very they're like the main end strike elite darts or normal darts for nerf now but they just weren't as good they weren't that good so I wouldn't recommend using them but that's the darts that it comes with and it worked well in this until it kind of stopped working and they get jammed a lot in other guns so I wouldn't really use that but I actually really recommend this blaster you can't really find it anywhere else like besides like Amazon and eBay because they stopped manufacturing these so they're expensive now just like you can get like the Vulcan for like $400 from like Amazon yeah this is like I found this for like 70 bucks and stuff and I was gonna get a new one a little bit ago because this one doesn't work but they're pretty dang expensive so probably won't happen but I really recommend this blaster honestly if you can get your hands on it great if you can even get your hands on the stock because the stock is awesome totally get that it's on if you've seen Rogue One Captain Cassian on his Captain Cassian Ondor Edu blaster from the planet it has this stock and it has a specter barrel you know what that is which are rare and awesome parts for nerf so if you can even get your hands on these these are nice i totally recommend this i totally recommend the base blaster it is awesome if it's used it probably won't perform very well it's way better when it's out so those are my thoughts of this gun sorry i couldn't do a test but it's probably better for the blaster. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please go and to our channel and look them. And you can find our videos. We're making videos about every week or two, so that's pretty cool. And then we also have um, more end strike videos and other guns. And this performs. If you're wondering how it performs in slam fire, is like the Roto Fury. So I'll be doing a review of the Road of Fury in about, should be pretty soon, should be in this month. So look for that. Um, and please subscribe and like um, our videos. And please tell your friends we're trying to start in our channel since this is one of our newer videos. So please tell your friends. And I hope you like this video. See ya.